Well, I ordered myself a D-Speed wing. D-Speed's a local supplier in Perth. They supply a lot of aftermarket products for the drift scene. Uh, lots of body kits, anything aero, aesthetic sort of stuff. They do a lot of arms, adjustable cab arms, cast arms, toe arms, uh, hikers elimination kits. Um, heaps of cool little stuff. Um, it comes at a fraction of the cost of your genuine parts, but their quality is pretty good and it's been proven. Uh, a lot of the local drifters do use their gear. Um, no one's really had any problems with it and um, I like the quality of their products so I ordered myself a wing it's a three to six power wing copy um, and yeah it arrived a couple of nights ago so that's the wing over there um, it's pretty big it's a lot bigger than I expected uh, the width of it sort of surprised me but it's pretty cool and I think it's really aggressive um, now I've never mocked up a wing before and I've never put one on so this was all new to me I've sort of didn't know where to start and I thought well I need to make some holes in the boot what I did do was I measured the distance between the two stands from the outside edges and I've marked them down on the car so that inside of the tape would be where the outer of the wing would be and the same on this side over here now while I was doing it, it was a bit hard to keep the camera going keeping it moving so yeah I did it all and I thought I'd explain it afterwards so what I done was with the outsides measured up, I measured the halfway point of the boot lid. That's the smack bang center of the boot. And obviously you want your wing to sit pretty even. So now I can put the wing on and go, well, if that's the two outsides and that's the middle, the gap on each side is actually even. Um, and then what I did was I measured the distance across this part from that point to that point to give me an idea of how long that was and where the halfway point of that was. So that halfway point fell right over on that dot, which pretty much lines up to that almost. And I've done the same on this side, except I didn't mark it out because what I did here was I did something slightly different. I placed the wing in the middle, lined it all up, eyeballed it out, looked pretty good. I thought I'll tape around it. So after doing a bit of measurements, it all lines up. Now the hard part is where do you drill the holes because you can only drill them once, screw it up, you're then going to have to weld the boot lid and start again. Um, what I did was, I made myself some templates. And what I've done is I've taken some A4 paper, laid it across the top of this section, broken the edges off so it gives me the same shape as the wing. I then took a little bit of masking tape, rolled it in a ball, stuck it to it and did the same to that end. Um, what I've done now is I've placed all these little tabs of masking tape on it and where the holes are on the wing i've actually put them into the paper so what that means is that once i put that wing on this boot lid those papers should hopefully stay behind if they stay behind that will then give me an indication of where the holes need to be now they may not be 100 percent accurate but i can always make the holes slightly bigger um, by making them bigger will give me a bit of flexibility as to putting the bolts in what i'll do is i will put an adhesive tape underneath that or something waterproofing just to stop any moisture from coming through because that's pretty common with spoilers. You put a spoiler on, you end up with water in your boot or you take a spoiler off and you end up with water in your boot. So from factory, they do come with an adhesive underneath it, a waterproofing layer. I'll do the same thing and um, yeah, bolt it down then. But the first thing I'm gonna do is drill the holes. So I'll place the spoiler on um, and hopefully those templates stay behind. Now I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. It's the first time I'm having to go at it and I have no idea what's going to happen. So I'm just going to place the camera up here and hopefully that gives a pretty decent aspect of what I'm doing. So now I'm going to be careful to actually place this in the right spot because I'll only probably get one shot at it. This is going to be a pain, and I knew it was going to be, but I want the wing on, so I'm going to make it work. It's going to be easy with two people, I reckon, but I don't have a second person right now, and I'm impatient, and I want to get this on, just because I'm... Well, I want to see it there. Alright, 
That looks pretty cool. It looks like it's in the right spot. This is really annoying because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know if it's even and all I'm doing is put my own my own eyesight and my own eyeballing. So this could have happened really bad. I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, so the wing looks like it's pretty much in position. Um, what I'm looking at here is I'm making sure that this is actually in that tape zone. There's a little bit of a gap, I don't know how much gap there was before, because I did this late at night the other night, and I really shouldn't have done that, but I did, and now I'm a bit confused, and that doesn't help. But this all looks pretty decent, I think. This feels like it needs to come back a touch, or this needs to go forward a touch. That's what makes it really hard because I can't really tell. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some measurements and just make sure everything's all even. Start again. That's against the back, which is where I marked the back out to be. That little bit of tape is touching there, which is great. This side, we've got that one touching. You can see it, Let's shift that a little bit. And it's up against the back over here, so that looks about right. Let's have a look. So fitting wings aren't as easy as I thought they'd be. I don't know, it's easy when there's holes already there, but when you're going after market, there's never really holes where you want them to be. What I'll do is, I'll measure up the distance between that edge and the body and do the same on the other side, because that should be the same on both sides of the car. So to go from there, from the corner, I'll well, we'll go from the outside edge, it's about 45 mils of the body. And the other side should be roughly the same. I mean, I may not get 100% perfect, but as long as it's within range, and that is 45 mil. So, that all looks pretty lined up, looks pretty even. Um, now all I gotta do is take the wing off and my templates will, should still be there if they haven't lost their stickiness yet. And then I'll have my holes. <laughs> Myself more and more, the more frustrated I'm getting, the more confused I'm getting. What I've done is I've measured the distance between the back hole and that back hole, and it's 965 mil. And I've come over here, I've measured the gap from that one to that one, and that's 965. So technically, it should be equal and even. Whether it is or isn't, it's really hard, but I guess even if it's off by a mil or two, no one's really going to notice that except for me, and it's going to piss me off but I'm just gonna have to learn to live with it and I'm hearing a Sylvia pull up. What's going on? But I'm fairly certain it should all line up and that'd be Jake. He's bringing me drill bits. 
drill these holes because the good guy I am, I gave away my drill bits at work and now I need them. Alright, so I've drilled the holes through the boot and uh, they come out right there. So it's those really weird holes. I'm going to make them bigger so I can actually get a socket onto it by using this thing. It's uh, what we call a Christmas tree or I don't know what other people call it. And that's the tr my neighbor's truck. It's an F-250 and it's really loud. And he wakes me up with it every morning. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to draw these out and hopefully the holes will be big enough to get a socket in and I should be able to put bolts in there. Hold it, Jake. Be the cameraman. You drew the wrong hole. What? You drew the wrong hole. I know you got four nah, holes. Four. That's right. Jeez. Can't be worried for a second. I was like, I need more holes. <laughs> Alright, so with these holes, we can now put a socket in and a bolt through there and we can bolt that spoiler on. So we'll see if the holes actually line up because I wasn't sure if they did. So yeah, let's have a go at this. Can you lift the boot up all the way with the aerial like that? It will hit it, eh? Yeah, alright. Don't need the aerial. That should work, cool. Hell yeah! Cheers, mate. Yeah, race car daily. Oh, swap. Oh, I said there's no. Looks hell tough. So I'll be pulling that wing back off again and then putting that uh, weatherproofing stuff underneath between there so we don't get any water going into the boot and then probably just clean up the holes a little bit more. Um, it's good now that I know it's all drilled in the right spots. It means I can pull it, put it on as many times as I want and it should always line up. So yeah. 